This is the guy of Georgia Outdoors. In this video, we are going after one species of fish, the redfin pike. If you watched one of my previous videos, I actually caught my first redfin pike ever and caught a few of them. But today we're going back and we're gonna see if we can catch a few more. I uh, stopped by the store and bought me what I feel is the perfect setup for redfin pike. It is uh, right here. It is a uh, proficiency, like a four foot rod and reel combo. Just a little spin cast. I think I paid 30 bucks for this but um, I feel like that's gonna be really good. It's gonna be limber. It's going to be able to get me in those tight places and get a lot of tree cover so I can't really cast a uh, big rod. Today's lure of choice is the rooster tail. This one's a, uh, a fluorescent red, orange tiger pattern. I feel like this one's going to be deadly. So we're about to uh, go down the road, Cedar Creek, where I uh, creek runs through my farm. Found the one spot where I'm catching them. We're gonna see if we can get a few more. I'll be honest, this fishing hole doesn't look like much. It's a uh, slow to no movement at all real dark water muddy water but from everybody i've talked to this is exactly what the uh red fin are looking for we got this short little rod i mean i don't even know if that's i think that's like 36 inches and we got this little red rooster tail i think it's gonna do the trick so we're gonna get the gopro on and uh see if we can't catch some fish i know this hole's loaded with fish but we're after the red fin pike all right this is that little proficiency spin cast and not sure how well you were able to see it in some of the other videos, but that is our color of choice. Everyone that I've talked to always say something in the red family. So we'll try this, and if this doesn't work, we have a couple other options. But I'll go ahead and tell you, this is going to take a little getting used to casting this little short rod. Yeah, it's a little bit of getting used to. That's my first cast ever with it. I already see something hitting at it. The reel isn't as, uh, isn't as smooth as my Omega, but what would you expect for a uh, $35 combo, or actually like a $30 combo? There we go, there's a fish. And take but two casts. And there we are with the really pretty warm mouth, real coppery color. But that is not our species that we're hoping to get. I really like this little short rod. Takes a little getting used to. Oh, right there, what we got? Bigger fish. Boy, it's fun fishing on this little short little combo. What we got, what we got? What we got? Nice bluegill, actually. Nice bluegill. I'm telling you, there's something about this hole that is just loaded with fish. Not what we came for. I mean, it smells bad down here. There is, it is no flow to this water whatsoever. This is just not like a really nice environment, but these fish are just in here and they're not only in here, they're thriving. Sorry if you're, getting, if you're picking up a little bit more real sound than normal, that's just because that's this lower budget rod but I think it's going to be perfect for me. This really dark water, there he is right there. This really dark water, this, this uh, that gold color has seemed to do pretty good, like the gold color spoon, and it's really flashing that evening sun. Um, I can see it from 20, 20 feet away, so I know these uh, fish are able to, pick up on it and see it flashing at the end of the day that's what you want there we go something got me one after another after another after another let's see if we got something right here I see something splashing right here something bumped me right here what we got 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 Another one of those war mouth, but just a bigger one. These are actually pretty good eating fish. A lot of people like them. All right, a place like this is really where this short rod comes into play. You can't hardly cast in here if you have a long, longer pull. Something bumped me the whole way in.
Oh, I'm bumping. Come on. There he is. Come on. Haven't felt the bite that I remember of the redfin pike. The redfin pike just absolutely destroyed it when he hit it. I feel like I'm still getting more of those warm out. You gotta be careful. You don't want to throw these in your tree. Four dollars a pop. What we got? What we got? What we got? There we go. First red redfin of the day. First red fin of the day. Every cast. Every cast. I wonder if they make good flathead bait. Might have to start keeping some of them for bait. There is no shortage of them in here. That was not a good cast. Yeah, something had it. Uh oh, there's another one. Get him up on the bank. Oh, that's a bass. <laughs> Thought he was a red fin because look how long and skinny he is. But nope, that's a bass. Hard to go on business catching these right here. Caught so many of them. It's either a red fin or a bass. Another red fin. There we go. It's hard to target a species when all you can do is catch fish every cast. But boy, these things do not play around with it when they get it. Another perfect example of one. Look how big their mouth gets. I want to keep him too, but luckily I'm keeping a few. They hit it so hard you can't get the hook out of them. There we go, that's a good one. That's a really good one there. Oh yeah, it's one of my better ones I've caught in here. That's pretty right there. Just right here on the side of the road. Boy, they got a strong jaw, strong teeth. Good grip on this thing. Whether I want to or not, I'm having to keep a lot of these because I am tearing them apart getting the hook out. Once again, just a perfect specimen. That's my best one of the day. I had him right there to the edge and he came off. Old red fin there. There we go. Yep. It's crazy, man. That is crazy. And these little pockets of water. I'm not sure how, how the uh, camera angle is going to show that. All right, we're done fishing for the day, and I'm not sure how many I caught on camera, but I looked down and my battery was dead, and I ended up catching a few more. Ended up catching six, hooking a few more, and uh, man, that I don't know what is the perfect combination for uh, fishing for um, these redfin pike, but that right there, that little three-foot proficiency rod with a uh, that red orange color tiger color uh, rooster tail was deadly. These fish eat really good and they're so aggressive that sometimes they uh, they almost come out the water when they're hitting it. But man, that was fun and you never know what's gonna be right here. That one's popping around. Right here under a road. 
And uh, this is the same creek my grandpa told me about growing up and uh, fishing and catching them. And uh, he passed away back in uh, July, so this is pretty special for me. So uh, these aren't the first redfin that I've caught. I actually have that in another video, the actual first redfin I caught. But um, nonetheless, just a great afternoon. I've only been down here about an hour, and I got enough for a little fish fry for me and maybe uh, one other person, probably a little kid. But um, great day fishing. If you haven't already done so, hit that subscribe button because we are just a little over a month from going to Alaska. We're going to be catching halibut, salmon, all kinds of other stuff, and that's going to be a good day. And I've uh, been doing a lot of river fishing too, so those videos will be coming up pretty soon. Until the next one, this has been the unofficial, no doubt incomplete guy, George Outdoors.